That's one of the benefits of working from home on a Sunday. <laughs> See, I do beauty, but I also can get dirty. And I'm still going to eat it. I really love having the orange because it seems it'll fit my booty night. Good day beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you a productive, relaxed, cozy Sunday shift. Me working as a customer service representative and how I be my best productive on a Sunday because Sunday is so chill, so relaxed, but I still want to get the most out of it, you know? I made breakfast, I did my whole morning routine, my rising ritual, and I now made a really nice breakfast. My alarm should go off in a few. And that's my alarm on the cube. I have 10 minutes before I need to clock in. Well, actually start. I have my alarm to go off 10 minutes before the shift starts. And today my shift starts at 10. So I work at 10 till 6 shift today on Sunday. It's now 9.50. But I have a few seconds to talk before I take my laptop out of my bag and start to work. That's one thing that I do. I don't have like a really big office table. But that's what I'm in the process of getting, a newer one. Because the one I have now, I've always used as a vanity and it was enough. But now the desk space is just not enough for all my things that I have. So I'm looking for a good desk, something that I can use now and also in my next home. So it's a bit hard to find one that I really like, that I really would like to use. But we're going to find something soon, hopefully. But I wanted to show you, today I'm actually going to be working on the crown chakra focus. While focusing on the crown chakra, there's a points of daily introspection, some questions that you can go through to see how you feel, to see exactly where you are in the day, so that you can make sure you focus on those points and you can journal about them, just think about them out loud, think about them in your head, and just move through these questions. So, while I'm going to clock in and while it's not too busy at work, I'm going to do the morning introspections and then tonight I'll do the nightly ones before going to bed. And I'm actually sipping on some green tea. And the question, which is so perfect for a Sunday, is what are you looking forward to this week? And I think it's perfect because it's Sunday. And this week I'm looking forward to tomorrow repotting my plants. I'm going to show you that also tomorrow while we do that on Valentine's. And I'm also looking forward to going to therapy this week that's coming, we also have planned. Oh, this week is also the full moon. Looking forward to that. Tell me, what are you looking forward to this week? Do you have anything big coming up? Or something just so simple that you're so excited to? For me also, I'm just really excited to the new week. 
it's a new week and this week will be a lot of nice things happening. For now I'm going to drink my green tea into my huge Caribbean mug. I love where I'm from, from the Caribbean. So when I saw this on the airport, I had to get it because I was like, it's so big and I love tea or love having a big drink because you know when you have like a big cup of tea and you just feel like all cozy and all happy, that's what tea does to me. I'm starting my shift and my schedule today is quite nice. So as I mentioned, I work from 10 until 6, yeah. I have for an hour and a half now that I'm starting chats and then I have phones for two hours and then a break and on my break I will go outside for a walk I think because I saw next week or this upcoming week is going to be quite rainy and I didn't go outside yesterday for a walk so I think I really have to today just to get outside of my house because that's one thing working from home I seldomly go outside unless I have to and like in the past I could sometimes stay in the house for like a whole week and not leave and that's not good at all for me. So I'm going to go for a walk today since it's supposed to be dry. Outside is quite dark and cloudy but we'll go outside at one point to go for a walk. I'll check back in once I finish chats to tell you how it is because then I probably will take maybe like a five to ten minute break before going on to the phone. Oh, I almost forgot. Yesterday was my no social media day. I think if you see my videos, this year I started doing every one day a week, no social media. Yesterday was that day for me, so now we're going back into Instagram. Let's make sure that we start work. <laughs> Go online, onto chats. Perfect, it's exactly 10 o'clock log into our different systems we have to use at work um start our sunday productive shift it will be a good day it will be a chill day it will be an amazing day Lego. been chill so far finally having my fruit i had cucumber and strawberries but it's sunday and it's quiet so it's good mm. and because it's quiet on the phone now i'm going to go ahead and hang my clothing out that's one of the benefits of working from home on a Sunday. <laughs> but this is a realistic productive day of me working on a Sunday and I'm not doing anything to my hair today to make it look cute <laughs> sorry but I got home from my walk and after I got home I only had like one minute to clock back into work and when I clocked in I was the only one on chats so I had to get straight to it so I wasn't able to actually make my smoothie that I wanted to make for myself but I'm going to make it now. And then for my shift, I only have three hours more to go. And now we're close for live support. So we have some checks to do. Back at my work desk. And this is the color of the smoothie because of the spinach and the yellow ingredients. I'm done work. Now it's starting to get dark and it's six o'clock already. I'm now going to try to 
get a post up on Instagram. I've been trying to be a lot more consistent when it comes to posting. I'm trying to figure out the algorithm because lately my Instagram views and stuff have been just really low. Don't know why, but I'm just going to continue showing up and being consistent because that's what's most important. And once it's up, I'll start to make dinner. First things first, we close the work laptop and put that back into the bag and away. So this is my dinner. I'm having, did I put the, oh yeah. So I forgot what I was having when I saw the mushroom. So I made stew okra with mushrooms and quinoa and rice with avocado, spinach and plantain. Hey, this is so good. I can literally crave okra compared to before i didn't like okra at all this okra is amazing i'm not going to sit down on my couch and chill and enjoy the meal and i actually wanted to show you i have all my small plants and things here because tomorrow we're going to do like a self-love day and take care of all the smaller plants and repot them i want to propose that you resolve something very powerful to love who you are right now Wow, look at this oatmeal. It is so good, I wish you could smell it. I put on top of it caramelized apples that I made with green apples. I put cinnamon, honey, a little bit of vanilla on them and I fried them up in a pan a little bit. I don't know if I made it correct, but I think I did. And then in the oatmeal, I also put oats, oat milk, cinnamon, vanilla, and blueberries. I'm now going to stir it for the first time. And I topped it again with some oat just so I can make it a bit watery because it got very thick but a eh, this oat is like a real caribbean flavorful oat oh my god i'm so happy to eat this this is so good and i have some green tea and the question of today is who makes you happy who makes me happy is children i totally love children if I see children or if I'm just around them, they make me very, 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 very happy. So that's what makes me happy. Who makes you happy? Let me know. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy these oats. Mm -mm -mm. One more. Welcome to my garden. <laughs> the sun is shining in on my house, so I don't know if you're going to see me all the time in the same lighting, but that's besides the point. Today, we're going to give my small plants some much needed love on my special me day. I changed my pants just so I can put on pants that I can move in. I'm going to be repotting and potting some plants and I thought I'd take you along the little journey with me. I haven't been giving them all the much needed love that you need. As you can see with this one, Iana, she's just very dehydrated and not happy. But we're first going to start with Seba here. And if you didn't know, all my plants have names. <laughs> Everything that I have, have has a name. And we're going to start with Seba here. I'm going to repotting her into this pot. She's currently in this one and this leaf has died. My plants all are very healthy and happy, but sometimes they get unhappy and unhealthy and this happens. But I'm not going to talk too much because I have to go to therapy at two and it's almost one and I feel like this will take some time. And I also have here, let's see, I also have here like the perlite and I have there some of like these balls plant community on youtube don't come for me if you have any tips or any youtube channels i can look at to increase my plant knowledge and treat my plants even better let me know please but oh, yeah we're going to be starting let's just start with this one by taking her out and i actually did help plant mom last year with a few installations that she did here in holland and this one did grow a lot like there's roots coming out of her. Woo! <gasps> she has a lot. And this is one thing I learned with plant mom is that you need to like take out 
the roots a little just to untangle them, unravel them, and then pot it in again. Oh wow, this one grew really beautiful. Okay, and we're going to mix it. See, I do beauty, but I also can get dirty. <laughs> A bit of everything. For me, this is such a beautiful therapeutical thing to do in a form of self-love. I'm grounding, also working on my root chakra. My red chakra is being activated by spending time with my plants. I love how big these roots got. This plant I actually brought in illegally from Seba. That's why the name is Seba as well. And they didn't find it. It was just like one little leaf I brought to Holland. And now look, look at her. She's happy. This is so fun. I swear, if I move to a country that's warm and I can have a garden, hee <laughs> hee. You are funny in the garden. Cook it. Good at cooking. <gasps> Planting. Growing. I find this so fun. Oh my god. We should pause some music. Sarah, I'm tired. <laughs> my back. Look at my little garden. Oh, my indoor garden. I'm so blessed. I'm so happy to have this. I repotted all the pots or all the small plants I had, even the ones I had in these glass jars. Um, so they're all repotted. I'm filming on my phone because my GoPro died. So we need to charge it up before leaving the house. And here's like all the bigger pots I have, the sun, everything in my little workstation that I was using. But here we have all the plants potted again. And look at the ground, they're in fresh ground. I'm so happy and that's like all the old, the old ground that they were in. And everything that I have here for them, what I'm going to do now is sit down and like polish them and give them a shower so that they can have a fresh start. <laughs> that they can have a fresh start today. Just finished therapy. I'm in the park walking and ooh, dogs poop here, so I need to be careful. I just saw. It's really windy outside. My hair is doing whatever it wants to do. But therapy went really good. And one thing I wanted to share that my therapist said to me today in our conversation was if someone tells you you have orange hair and you don't, would you believe them? You wouldn't, so. Someone's opinion is not what you think or what someone's opinion is that they gave you is not the end all be all. So just thought I would leave you with that. I'm now going to go and treat myself to something for being a good girl and going to therapy today. Back home and sitting down. I have a total of 13 plants that are happy, healthy and thriving and luscious colorful vibes <laughs> in my house being very vibrant 
my hair is getting to be so huge again and growing that I'm so happy. I had to put it up because the wind today outside and everything else was just wild. But I'm back home, did everything, I cleaned up as well. I had a lot of ground everywhere. My nails are all fine. Just a little bit of dirt in this one, but I got to go. And I made some tea, some black tea with oat milk. And I got myself a treat that I mentioned I wanted to get when I went out. And I put my treat in the oven just so it can warm up a little bit. But I always do this. I always do this. I always put things into the oven for a little bit. And then I get busy doing other things and I forget them. And I'm still going to eat it. I'm not going to throw it away. I have another one. But I'm not going to waste this one because this one is still totally fine. A little bit more crunchier than we would have liked, but that's okay. That's totally fine. <laughs> I need to take off that part because you can really taste the burntness in the dark part. I enjoy this. I'm going to work in some content for a foundation that I'm working with or I'm actually volunteering for. I'm volunteering doing social media content creation for a foundation called Let's Break the Shame. It's a company or a foundation that's trying to break the shame around mental health and show that this taboo needs to be broken and there's people that suffer from it and actually showing the live people or the real humans that suffer from mental health issues on their social platforms and tips on how you can cope and a lot of other good things. So if you want, I'm going to put a pop up here and also the foundation's details in the description box down below. So you can go and check us out and maybe follow us and learn something about your mental health and ways of coping with mental health as well. I had a nice three days so far. I'm really enjoying that I got to ground, do what I like to do, go to therapy. I had a really good conversation with my therapist and I'm looking forward to all things that's coming. There's so much that's happening. I'm really excited for the next few months and I'm really excited for life in general. And I will check back in later because I have some packages coming in. See you then. Look at the salad. This looks divine, if I must say myself. I didn't feel like cooking, but I still in the end cooked a bit. But I made a salad, just store-bought greens. And then I cut up some mushroom and fried that with onion. And I had cucumber I put onto it. And apples I had from earlier that I had put in the fridge with some lime squeezed on them. I just topped it with. And then also pumpkin seeds. I feel like this salad is going to be amazing. And then what I made on the side as well is some homemade honey mustard dressing like when i am in the mood and very creative i can come up with the most amazing combinations and i think this is going to be amazing and then here i have some lime water to go with that so i got the packages in that i wanted to show you and unbox on camera i ordered something from lovey's it's a fashion company here in the netherlands and i find the bag was super cute it says, you know you love me. I find that super cute. Packaging is really nice. Perfect for Valentine's. My gift to myself. I ordered this t-shirt from them because I thought I could style it really cool with a nice blazer and a nice pants. And it has my zodiac sign on it. This is a basic t-shirt. It feels nice and soft. And it has my Sagittarius Zodiac sign on it. And I thought this would look so nice with like green pants and a red blazer or some kind of like wild color combinations. Take some content and pictures. And the next thing I got was some trousers from Zara. I got different colors. Look. <laughs> look at this. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see it. Look how nice these colors look. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. But I got these because I want to see what will look nice with the top and i want to have more trousers and more like you know more nice pants rather than jeans pants i only have now i think two no three jean pants i have one skinny and two straight a light and a dark blue and then a rumper or like a overall thing and that's it that i have in denim but i'm going to i think get rid of the three other ones and only have the rumper that i can wear summertime or something because I'm really done with wearing trout with jeans. Like I want to dress niches and nice. So I ordered these pants to see how they would look and how they would fit. I'm not going to try them on, on camera. I thought this would have been a bit more bright, but it's like a orange. You see it also orange on camera. This is how this one looks.
this long trouser and I love the trousers from Zara because they actually fit me really good they fit me like a proper pants they go all the way down <laughs> because some places they stop really short and then I got this green one let's see how that looks on camera it looks a bit more dark on camera but I remembered after ordering and now that I'm seeing it as well that I do have a green pants already so I might not need this one I'm really loving the orange because it seems it'll fit my booty nice and my legs will look nice and long but okay and the price of that is affordable because the orange one is $29.95 and this one is $39.95 and I already have a green but I'm still going to try it tomorrow and see how it looks blue one because I am obsessed my favorite color is blue and this blue one is beautiful this blue one might look really nice with that blazer with that t-shirt so I saw you didn't see the pink one when I took it out, but this is the pink one that I also got in and tomorrow I'm going to try them on to see how they fit and which one I like the most. So far my favorite seems to be the orange one because it's a bit different and I like the flare of the pants, but we'll see how it looks on and how they combine and if they look good together. But the pink color is really beautiful and the blue is stunning. The blue is such a beautiful blue. Yeah. Yeah. but we're going to end the vlog here thank you Oop. oops clumsy thank you for watching the video i appreciate you watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye